Well, speaking of biblical answers, we want to get to some of your email. This is Gary Gordon who writes and says, how can you get someone to forgive you for a wrong you have done to them when they don't offer forgiveness? Well, Gary, I, I, it, you don't control them and they have free will. And so within the exercise of their free will, if they want to hold on to a grudge, um, well, that, that's up to them. Uh, I would encourage you to say, well, I forgive you for not forgiving me uh, so that you can move on with your life. Uh, one of the, the great exercises uh, that I, I try to do fairly regularly, unfortunately, I, I don't do it as often as I need because it just makes me feel guilty, uh, <laughs> that, Lord, am I harboring unforgiveness? Is there something I'm holding on to? And whenever I pray that, boy, the Holy Spirit just brings, okay, glad you asked. <laughs> you know, here, here, here's a bunch of things. I was on a phone call last night and with an old friend, and um, we were talking about memories, and, and there was a memory that came up, and I, was, I had to check myself. So, Terry, how do you, you walk in forgiveness? Because I know I'm very offensive. <laughs> and, no, and, he's and never so, offended. You know, what, what's your secret? You know, I think two things. Um, number one, forgiveness sets us free. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons God calls us to do it. And number two, you know, I think forgiving and forgetting are two different things. Like I yeah. can choose to forgive out of obedience. Sometimes forgetting is a process, you know, where you have to go to the Lord and say, help me to forgive this offense to look beyond it. And lots of times I think it's looking at how we've offended other people and having grace for those who've offended us. Yeah, if I, if I want forgiveness, I have to forgive. Amen. Yeah. And, and I can't hold these things in my heart. Um, there's a, a, a fair number of memories I wish I could get rid of. Um, God, for whatever reason, wants to keep them there. But it's wonderful because it humbles you. Yeah. And you say, Lord, how did you do that? They were beating you. Um, they put a crown of thorns. They mocked you. They deserted you. And you still said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Let us have that same mind.